So friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I'll explain you I2V converter in great details using operational amplifier. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See here, first I'll be discussing about basics of current to voltage converter means I2V converter. After that, I'll explain you what is the basic need of I2V converter. After that, I'll explain you active current to voltage converter using operational amplifier. Here I'll derive this current to voltage conversion. After that, at last, I'll explain you applications of current to voltage converter. So let us begin this video with first agenda that is basics of current to voltage converter. See from name itself, you can understand this. I2V means current to voltage converter. So input will be having current source and at output, will be having voltage and this voltage VL that should be independent on load resistance RL. So variation in VL should not happen because of RL means here we will be translating current source into voltage source. That is the meaning of current to voltage converter. Here load voltage should be independent on load resistance means we will be translating current source into voltage source. Now you might be thinking like what is the need of it? See when we talk about need of current to voltage converter then you will be observing in industries of instrumentation and control engineering we will be using so many sensors. There are some sensors they will be giving output in terms of current like we can have sensors based on photodiode, phototransistor. So photodiode, phototransistor, this type of sensors are generating output in terms of current. Here, this signal generated by sensor that we are delivered to give it to data acquisition system. So data acquisition system used to store the data. That data are the data produced by sensors. So to save those data, we need to have voltage signal. The reason is majority of data acquisition system stores data in form of voltage data. So first we need to convert this current data sensed by sensors into voltage. After that we can give it to data acquisition system where there will be conversion of analog data into digital data and then one can store it. In data acquisition system there are so many other things but one should understand this in data acquisition system signals should be there in form of voltage. That's why whatever data that we sense it by sensors that we need to convert into voltage first. So some sensors will be sensing data and it will be producing signal in terms of current and that will be translating into voltage with the use of I2V converter, right? Now I'll explain you active current to voltage converter using operational amplifier. Here when you convert current to voltage at a time one thing that one should understand first see this output voltage should be independent on load resistance. So here we will be measuring output across RL but this output V out that should be independent on RL. Let me explain you how it is independent on RL over here. So if you want to understand this circuit here we have negative feedback with the use of resistance R. Right, we have negative feedback with the use of resistance R. See with negative feedback, one very essential fundamental that one should know. In negative feedback, there is virtual short concept and there is virtual ground concept. So here in negative feedback, with positive terminal, if we have zero voltage, you see this positive terminal that is ground. So at this terminal, we have zero voltage. So in negative feedback, if you have zero voltage over here, then with inverting terminal, voltage should be zero over here, right? So that is virtual ground concept. One more basic that one should know. See, with, with this operational amplifier, here we have two inputs. And input impedance of operational amplifier, that is very high. It is there in terms of mega ohm. Because of input impedance is very high, current going inside over here that will be negligible or you can say it is almost zero right current over here that will be negligible or you can say it is almost zero 
so what will happen so here if you see we have current source over here that is my input current so this current source i n that is generating current i of n that is going over here but here current will be negligible so almost all the i n current that will go over here right all the current that will go over here right so here current will be negligible why the reason is input impedance of this op amp that is very high now if you talk about this current i n then you see at this terminal at this terminal potential is zero voltage and at this terminal potential is v out so if you measure voltage across this resistance r then that is happening based on this i n current so you see i n current direction that is this right so potential difference is zero minus v out potential difference is zero minus v out that is equals to this current i n into resistance r right i n into resistance r so here if you talk about v out voltage then this v out voltage that is minus of i n into r so if you observe this output voltage equation so that is dependent on this input current and this resistance r right it is independent on this load resistance rl so that is how we can convert current into voltage right now here one more basic that one should know see this entire circuit that is acting like the trans impedance amplifier this entire circuit that is acting like a trans impedance amplifier why this circuit is acting like a trans impedance amplifier the reason is you see input current input current that is i of n based on that output is happening right so here here output v out that is having direct relation on input current and that is happening as per that is happening as per equivalent impedance right of this entire circuit here it is minus of r but you can say it is z over here into i of n so here z is what that is v out divided by i of in right so z is impedance and that z impedance that is changing with respect to i of n over here right so this entire circuit this entire circuit that is acting like a trans impedance amplifier where this v out that is independent on this load resistance this V out that is dependent on input current I of n only. When you talk about applications, then broadly we use this current to voltage converter in instrumentation and control engineering where there are some sensors, they will be sensing data in terms of current like photodiode. And data acquisition system, data acquisition system needs signal in terms of voltage. That's why we need to convert current into voltage right so in instrumentation and control engineering we broadly use current to voltage converter as well as we use it in photosensitive circuits see in photosensitive circuits if you talk about photodiode if you talk about phototransistor then here output of photodiode that is based on how much light that we receive and that light signal that is getting converted into current so here current is sensed by photosensitive circuit but we need to have signal in terms of voltage that's why we use current to voltage converter in digital to analog converter conversion also we use current to voltage converter where digital data that we give it to circuit based on digital data there will be translation of digital data into current after that that current should be represented in terms of voltage that's why we use dacs with current to voltage converter right so that is how there are varieties of applications i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything that you like to share please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video